What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So for any of you out there that were ever wondering if they should five lug four wheel disc brake swap their Fox, this video is gonna be for you. What I have in store for you today is the top reasons as to why I think you should do it. So I'm gonna give you the highs, the lows, the pros, the cons, and finally, I'll give you my opinion on the whole situation. So I thought I'd start off by telling you a quick little story as to how I swap my car. I think it'll give you some context as to one way, because there are so many but one way of how you can accomplish this task. So I, funny enough, bought a whole car with a fresh swap kit on it. This guy was building a bit of a street rod. It was the very first mod that he had made to the car and his employment changed and he had to bust out of town and couldn't take the car. So he listed it for sale. He just happened to, in the headline of the ad, he said five lug, four wheel disc brake swap and bang, I caught it that day and called him and bought it. So I brought this old, it's like a 90 LX red hatchback, wreck of a car, had mice in it. Anyway, brought it home, I parked it beside my green coupe and I swapped all the five lug four wheel disc brake stuff off it and put all the four lug stuff off my coupe onto, onto the hatch. Um, I didn't use all the stuff, I mean the master cylinder that the SSBC kit comes with it's like I think it's off a Lincoln or something it's this great big cast iron homely thing I dumped it and I got a 93 uh, Cobra master cylinder uh, front rotors rear calipers proportioning valves some odds and ends but I ended up selling the 90 LX hatch for more money than I paid for it which essentially gave me a free swap and paid for all the bits and pieces that I kind of upgraded that kit with too. So it was a great win for me. Anyway, this is just the way that I went about it. I don't know how many cars out there are for sale for that kind of money that you can find readily available right now, but it's just an option, right? It saves you going to the junkyard or, or shopping through eBay. So the pros of a five lug four wheel disc brake swap. Number one, sheer braking ability. Now, I will say there are ways of increasing the stock braking abilities of these cars. You can do steel braided lines, bigger front rotors, bigger calipers, more pistons. I mean, heck, you can even get a rear four lug disc brake swap for these cars. But in my opinion, that's kind of like checking two of the four boxes, right? Cause like you still, you don't open up the wheel options. You don't have the nice looks of the rear five lug disc brake system. Yeah, I, I think you just got to go all in and do the five lug if you're if you're going to be going to all this trouble. But yeah, sheer braking ability. Now, I'll say in my experience with both setups, you don't really notice the sheer braking ability of a four wheel disc brake system until you're trying to stop from higher speeds. And I don't mean outrageous speeds. I mean like highway speeds. If you got to come to a screech and halt at 60 miles an hour, the, the disc brake system is just leaps and bounds beyond that drum brake system. The drum brake system might bring you to a, a screech and halt once, but definitely not two or three times. Uh, I can remember coming to like shaking to a stop on way too many occasions. It Even for a light car like these, that rear drum, it should have never happened, I don't think. So that's number one. Number two, the wheel options. I mean, you just open up a whole new world of wheel options from OEM style to aftermarket, different offsets. It's just, it widens your world by about 10 times from the four lug system. And then finally, I mean, yeah, it's just kind of like I said, better aesthetics. Uh, there's just something about a five lug rear disc brake setup that just looks proper. Right, so now the other side of this coin is why you would not want to swap your car. I think the number one reason most people don't is because it's not cheap. I mean, if you want to go and buy a store-bought kit to do this, you got at least 2,500 bucks staring you in the face. Not to mention the fact that you got to buy new wheels and maybe even tires because you went with a taller wheel. I think that's number one. The other side of it is 
it's kind of a daunting task. It's, it's not the easiest swap, but it's not the hardest either. I mean, you can do it for sure if you're mechanically inclined. But as well, I think there's people out there that they probably just want to maintain the original car. Maybe they bought their car for resale value. You're going to have a heck of a lot more buyers for an original car than you are one that's modded right up. Even though I think this is a very tasteful modification that most future buyers are going to appreciate. Yeah, it still is a modification to the original car, right? But let's say you're a lifelong owner and you want that original car. Well, heck, if you're not going to do anything but go to a Sunday Cars and Coffee every now and again or beetle around town a little bit, stock brakes are fine. I drove my car for 20 plus years in stock format and it's still in original form. It hasn't had any accidents. There was some touch and go times, don't get me wrong, stopping at high speeds and stuff, but I'm here to tell the story. So thank goodness. Um, maybe you don't have any interest in aftermarket wheels. You love the turbines, you love the tan holes, you love the ponies, whatever. Then yeah, four lugs, great. Um, and then I mean, Finally, maybe just the look of a rear drum brake really revs you up. I don't know. It doesn't me. I think they're awful. They're just, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe you're different. Like the famous words of Henry Ford, there's an ask for every seat. So the drum brakes are maybe your thing. Final verdict, save your pennies, swap your fox. This is by far one of the best modifications I've ever made to my car. I've said it before, I'll say it again, over and over and over again. I still remember backing my car out of the garage for the very first time after I swapped it. Go out for a little test drive, see how the, the brakes work. Got it up to speed, stood on the brakes, and I almost knocked my teeth out on the steering wheel. It, like, it, it really truly is that big a difference. It's wild. So yeah, for all the reasons I mentioned guys, this is a really, really good mod to make to your car. Aesthetics, safety, wheel options, and again, if you're looking to sell this car down the road one day, well, it's, it's definitely something that the new owner could swap back to original if they really wanted to. I think there's enough of these old parts laying around because most guys do swap them. But I don't think they would. It, it's such a, a tasteful mod and it, it makes the car that much more enjoyable to drive. So don't stress about any of that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. I appreciate you all listening to my rants and uh, I really enjoy the conversations down in the comments with you guys. So keep them coming. I, I really get a kick out of it. Till next time. Bye for now.